We do want to note that all flights out of uh, the Erie Airport, they are on time this morning, even with that new snow, and that's important. As we head out for another ride in the Erie News Now RV, that's where we talk to local newsmakers. We take them out for a drive and a discussion in a segment uh, that we call RV Conversations. Yeah, and this morning is a trip on the ground for a man <laughs> whose job is really all about air travel. I got a chance to sit down with the Erie Airport's Executive Director, Derek Martin. It's been a little more than a year since Chicago area native Derek Martin took over the controls at Erie International Airport. He says he learned one thing about the area pretty quickly. Change can be tough for us to take. As we took a ride right down the airport's main runway, Martin talked about one of the first changes he made after his arrival, moving the airport's restaurants to the other side of security so passengers can check in first, then grab a bite. Well, I think people in a lot of cities, they don't like change. What we did to the restaurant, people complain about. That doesn't make sense. You know, what, why would you do that? Well, 9-11 happened, the world changed. It's been a very good first year on the job for Martin. Three airlines, rising passenger numbers, and hope for even more flight options soon, like direct service to D.C. Martin says one of his initial goals was to let local travelers know what a convenient option they have right here at home. We tried to tell them that, you know, you can be from your baggage claim to pajamas in 10 minutes, so it's a, it's a shorter distance. When you're home, you're home instead of being in a different airport. And I think that's resonated with people. People have been checking the airfares and see what's available, and they've uh, figured that uh, Erie is a good uh, alternative. Martin also detailed the plans to change the way people come and go, including more rental car parking and a designated area for Uber and Lyft services. But it's not just about making traditional travelers happy. Martin says he's looking to bring in even more people flying for business, recalling a recent conversation he had with a business leader who was looking to relocate. It serves a great purpose for the community, and it's one of the reasons why business, businesses that are tech-related are looking at Erie.